In 7th century India, Banabata wrote about an extraordinary game called Chaturanga, a military simulator played on an eight zait board. It represented the four arms of the ancient Indian army. Foot soldiers, elephants, cavalry, and chariots, kings used it to practice strategy without war. Chess traveled to Persia by 531 CE, where King Khosrow I challenged the Indian king to decipher Chatrang. The Persian advisor mastered the game and introduced new names for the pieces, including Shah and Farzan, giving birth to the term checkmate. When Arab armies conquered the Sasanian Empire in 651 CE, chess evolved into Shatranj. By the 9th century, masters like Al-Adli and Al-Suli wrote books and created puzzles, turning chess into a refined intellectual pursuit. Chess spread to medieval Europe by the 10th century, where abstract pieces became figural again. The bishop replaced the elephant, the queen replaced the counselor, and the rook transformed into castle turrets, reflecting European society and politics. In the late 15th century, chess's rules changed dramatically. The queen became the most powerful piece and the bishop gained new movement, making the game faster and more tactical. Masters like Rai Lopez emerged. During the Enlightenment, chess symbolized the debate between reason and creativity, exemplified by players like Diderot and Rousseau. Mathematicians studied chess with scientific rigor, and the mechanical Turk automaton fascinated audiences. In the 19th and 20th centuries, chess shifted toward science and competition. Paul Morphy's romantic style and Wilhelm Steinitz's positional play shaped the game. Chess also became a benchmark for AI, culminating in Deep Blue's victory over Kasparov in 1997. Today, chess thrives in the digital age. With engines unbeatable by humans, millions play online daily. The game continues to shape strategy, planning, and human thought across the globe. From ancient military training to a global intellectual pursuit, chess reflects human nature's love for conflict, creativity, and thinking. It teaches that skill and strategy can conquer without violence. What does chess reveal about us after 1,500 years? Share your thoughts, like the video, and subscribe for more fascinating stories. See you next time.